With the voice chats now we have the video feature. So on a mobile device it's not a problem. You open it up, it uses your built-in camera. But when you're on a desktop uh, there are possibly a few other cameras that you could use. You could use your actual laptop camera, your webcam or an external HDR, whichever other cams you can use. Um, and the questions being how are you able to select that because it's not available in the dialogue that pops up when you're setting a voice chat. So let me show you. If we go and we set up a voice chat there, um, just create one. I'm going to shift it this way. So here we have the usual voice chat, etc. And here we have the additional video feature. Now if I tap on the video, I'm feeding from an OBS virtual camera. Now I don't have OBS on, so we're not seeing anything there particularly. But let's assume this was your default camera, but you wanted to use another one. Um, if you right click here or click on here, it's not going to make any change. We go to this menu. Um, even if we go under settings, we'll see speakers and microphones, but there's no camera setting over here. So on the desktop where you have to go, and this is a uh, Windows desktop, you go to the actual application, uh, the menu, pop that out, and then you go and look for calls. Okay, not settings, but calls. Under calls, you usually would have your list of all your calls, but you go to the menu in the call section, call settings. When you click here, you'll notice something interesting. You'll have the speaker and the microphone, but there's an additional one here, which is input camera. Okay, so I assume this would probably be on this dialog box in future, because it would just make sense if you can initiate it from here. But for now, this is how it works. So you go to input device, and there you have the OBS camera and whichever default camera there is. I'm running Irian Webcam, which is an application that runs connected to your computer and to your mobile device, and it turns your mobile device into a webcam for you. So if I click this now, you'll see there I've selected the webcam. Okay, that's the Irian one. So you can in this area flip between if you have three or four other cameras, you can do that. Okay, so hopefully that helps you and flip that off when you flip it back on. That is the one thing that I wanted to highlight. Uh, if you're in the program and you've set it up, if you switch off and you come back on, it seems to still hold whatever the program opened with, which is the kind of default. So I think that's maybe a slight bug with Telegram. So I'd suggest that when you do the setting, if we go in and go to calls, uh, call settings. Can you see when we get back in here, it initiates that automatically. Uh, if I disconnect and come back, you see there it, it goes. If I come back here, say OK. Oops, it's not doing that. Go to default. Uh, go back to Irian, and there it will come through. So I think that's a bit of a glitch in the matrix. It's It's not remembering that once it's made and once you've kind of muted the video. But I'm sure they would clear that up in future releases. So my suggestion would be to the developers is to put the video choice feature here like any virtual uh, piece of software. And also just to make sure that when you select it and you mute it, the actual one re is rem sort of remembered in memory. It's not flipped back to a default again. Cool. But for now, I think if you do this, just be aware, don't flip your video off unless you're prepared to go back here and just reset it again if you're on a call. Great stuff.